Players in position. Umpire just checking we're all clear. Holds the shiver and aloft. Looks forward to the uh, timekeeper's box. And we're away. Season 2021 in the Murray League on NITV. Thanks for joining us here this afternoon. I'm Brad George, your commentator. As the ball just rests in the middle of the ground, nobody got a decisive knock from our first ball up of the season. And the umpire will do it all again. Restart of play. Rumba now. Looking to take some sort of ascendancy. Ball comes out to our broadcast wing. Good pick up for Rumba. He had prior opportunity. The umpire's seen it that way as well. And Yumurka get the first free kick of the game. Yumurka on the wing now. They'll put it just up to the top of 50. And a good mark taken for Rumbalara. Ball comes across our broadcast wing now. A left and a right. And for, finally a boundary throw in. You'll notice a lot of the Rumba players are returning. Jumper numbers may have changed somewhat in the uh, 12 months we had off for COVID. And a good tackle applied. Both teams just sizing each other out. Josh Wanganeed amongst friendly fire there. Ball comes out for Numerka now. And a mark taken on the half bank flag, broadcast side of the ground. Tried to find his man further down the line, couldn't do so. And we get another boundary throw in right in front of our broadcast position here today. Good movement of the footy and a good solid bump from Numerka. That'll set him up for an attack inside 50. Hasn't gone inside either 50 for Rumbleara or Numerka here this afternoon. No mark in the middle of the ground. Rumbleara moving the football beautifully on the opposite side now. They'll go inside 50 for the first attack this afternoon. Ball repel the back line and Numerka doing a good job. Only as far as the half-forward flank for Rumbalara now. Rumba go wide. Entrance side of the ground. Long kick. Goes across the face of goal. And we'll have a ball in. On the pavilion side of the ground. Two and a half minutes gone in the first quarter here at Mercury Drive, Shepparton. And I think you'll find across all country grounds right across Australia with the COVID break, it's given them a great chance to recover. And an easy goal goes begging there for Rumbalara. First score of the day, a minor for Rumba. As I was saying, a lot of the grounds have had a chance to breathe and really enjoy the break. So a lot of the playing surfaces, until we get some heavy rain, they'll be in tip-top nick. They've played a couple of grand finals here for the Murray League. We're on the north end of Shepparton broadcasting for you today. Ball in the half-back flank now for Numerka. They'll look to set something up. Good handball to the running man going past. He couldn't take it cleanly, though. And the first inside 50 is a bit of a mess for Numerka. They throw it onto the boot. Nobody waiting in the goal square. And it almost went out of mid-air. And the ball will go out of bounds. No, the umpire is going to call him back. Out of bounds on the full. And the umpire call him back and say, kick it over the mark, mate. Yeah. 
Even better, I'll have a boundary throw in rather. Just to the right of the Newmerka goal now. It's right in front, chance for Newmerka there. Their first score of the days are behind as well. You're watching it today on NITV right across the nation. The National Indigenous Broadcaster. Rumber will look to get it out of defence. It's an open 50. Open defensive 50. Comes out just in front of our broadcast position here. No mark taken. Ball falls to hands of Numerka. Forward pocket now. Good handball. And Numerka have got the first goal on the board. First blood to Numerka. Great goal. He sort of check side that one and slotted it through. We're back in the middle of the umpire. He'll let it rip. No decisive knock. Rumbelara trailing by the straight goal. One behind us chasing one goal, one seven. Murray League footy here on NITV today. Opposite side of the ground. They're going to go inside now. Making it hard for the forwards at centre-half forward. Good bump. Newmerka have brought the physicality here today. The umpire calls play on advantage. And the man out all on his own. Shot on goal now. He'll be right on 50 when he kicks this one. He'll need to give it all it's got. Goal for Newmerka, and rather Rumble Lara get it right. Still a little bit rusty from the COVID. And it's Rumble Lara on the board, 117. Right in it with Newmerka at the moment, 117 as well. You're watching it on NITV. Back in the middle for a restart. Good tap. Favours Newmerka though. The Blues are going to try and get away with it here. Rumbelara free kick. Kyle Atkinson puts it out to the wing. Good handball. Good running football for their, for Rumbelara this afternoon. Newmerka are equal to the task here, though, thus far. A lot of whistle blowing. And Rumba got the footy. Centre half back now for Rumba. They go to the centre of the ground. Chris Egan now with the football puts it out on the wing. Chris Egan, the former Collingwood player. Still in the number 15. Still proud of his Rumbelara roots. Opposite side of the ground. 
Still about 70 metres out for Rumbalara. They'll look to hit the top of 50 now. They wheel around and get the footy into the goal square. No mark taken. Ball goes to ground. And Yumurka repel the attack. Good knock. Favours the Blues. The Blues moving the football beautifully here at this point. Sees his man running past. He's under a little bit of strife. Umpire will pay downfield and play on advantage. Second goal for Numerka. The Blues have really taken uh, the axe early. Now, that goal was brought about through sheer beautiful and sharp connectivity. Every handball met its target, and so did its kick in the end. A goal for Numerka. Numerka now 2 1 13, lead Rumbalara 1 1 7. Up by the straight goal. It's back inside 50 for the Blues. In the hands of the Rumbalara defender. Goes across 50 now. Good chance for Rumba to set something up here. They're under all sorts. It's a two on one here. Yumurka will win that every day of the week. The umpire's found a free kick. Going the way of Rumbalara. Josh Wanganee now with the ball. The Kobe Bryant fan. Oh, player got up but couldn't complete the mark. He was up before acceptances. Open man inside 50. He'll turn around. This could be Numerka's third goal. And it is. Numerka really turning it on the blues here. Great football. Got the ball inside to the open man inside 50. And he slotted it through for Numerka's third goal of the afternoon. You're watching it here on NITV, right across the land. Well, Numerka straight out of the gun, 3-1-19, leading Rumbalara 1-1-7. Really setting the tone for the afternoon, the Blues. Rumbalara have only been inside 50 about to three times, the Savo. Nothing doing for Rumbalara. Numerka's back line and their defence has been resolute. They'll come across to our broadcast side. It was a one-on-one, -on -one, matter of who kept their feet. And you oh, great smother. It's the one percenters like that that really mean everything in the wash. And the umpire will ball it up right in front of our broadcast position. Bit of a scramble at the moment. The umpire sail ball it up again. Right in front of the Numerka bench. And just in front of our broadcast position. Falls into the hands. Numerka try to swing it around. Working at a phone booth in the pocket. And it'll be a boundary throw in.
Boundary umpire will give it a heave ho. Mid air shot, and no good. Out of bounds. Rumble are a free kick. Kyle Atkinson with the football now. Puts it on a centre wing. The man to fly for Rumbalara. Ball goes to ground and the umpire will ball it up. Nothing decisive there in the ruck. Solid play. As I said earlier, Numerka really brought the physicality here this afternoon. Murray League football on NITV. Numerka really are moving the football about beautifully. And they're right on the top of 50 now. They'll go inside right to the top of the goal square. Nobody's back there for them. And he's just going to snap their fourth. Newmerka now. Don't tell me he's missed that one. Yeah, he has. We'll just wait for the return of the footy or a new footy to come out. Well, he missed that one from point blank range as we wait for the footy to come back. Yamurka 3 2 20, leading Rumble Arrow just the one goal, 1 1 7. 13 point lead to the Blues. We've got the game ball back. And Rumble Arrow to reset the play out of the goal square. They'll go scoreboard side of the ground now. Long kick. Over the shoulder, the umpire's going to pay the free kick. You got a boundary throw in. Another boundary throw in, scoreboard side of the ground. Just on the other side of those sheds there is the road out to Kangupna and north out of Shepparton. If you go to the right of screen, you'll end up in the city of Shepparton. Just for those viewing from afar, NITV, the National Indigenous Broadcaster, covers the length and breadth of this country. And we bring you Murray League football today, Rumbalara and Yumurka. Yumurka up by 13 points at the minute. They'll turn around and get it inside 50 again. It's a long kick. They'll do more than get it inside 50. They'll kick a goal. The Blues playing champagne football here in the first quarter. Looking the goods against Rumbalara. Umpire restarts play in the Murray League here this afternoon. Numerka, again, they're going to get the centre clearance here. Their forward leads out, takes a strong mark, and he'll turn around and have a look at the goals from about 35 metres out.
He got under it a bit and it's gone right of the stick, minus score. Newmerka now 4 3 27, up by 20 points over Rumbalara 1 1 7. Nathan Hicks with the shot on goal there. He's been a consistent player for Newmerka over the years, Nathan Hicks. Chance now for Rumba to do something with it. They've coughed it up, turned the ball over. Back inside 50 again for Newmerka. And this sets up another shot on goal. He'll be about 35 metres out again when he uh, lets go of the Sharon. Trent Craven now in front of goal. He's put it through for their fifth. 5-3-39. Leads 1-1-7. They're out of the gate, Yamurka, and they're up and about, the Blues. Rumbalara need to do something, and they need to do something right about now. We've travelled 20 minutes in this first quarter. Round one, the Murray League. Umpire didn't see prior opportunity, and we'll get a ball up right on centre wing. Right in front of the interchange gates. Rumbalara this year, coached by Jason Trionides. And if that name sounds familiar, you'll recognise it from playing with St Kilda years ago. So a little bit of VFL, AFL experience here with Chris Egan at Rumbalara. He's gone for all money on that one. Every day of the week he had prior opportunity on that one. You make a free kick. On the wing, good mark taken. The umpires found a free kick downfield. The man on the mark at about 35. Truly, really action's happened here this afternoon for the Blues. That's another goal. There's six goal. 6 3 39 leads 1 1 7. Rumba have got the chase to do. Both teams looked really good straight out of the gate here this afternoon. Rumbalara and Newmerka. But then Newmerka have really put the pedal down and left Rumbalara in the dust. Newmerka are getting the set of clearances beautifully. Yeah, the umpire's seen that as a high tackle. Rumbalara now out of the centre of the ground. Top of 50 for Rumba. Wheeling around, put it up to the top of the goal square. And a mark taken for Rumbalara. Chance for their second goal now. They need to make everyone count, otherwise, it could turn into somewhat of a blowout. <laughs> 21 minutes gone. 30 metres out for Rumbalara, dead in front. Makes no mistake, Rumbalara's second goal of the afternoon.
Rumbalara now, 2 1 13. Trailing the Blues, Numerka, 6 3 39. Late in the first quarter here at Mercury Drive, Shepparton. Murray League football broadcast across the country on NITV. Umpire restarts play, it's still hanging around the centre circles. Throw a blanket over four of them and we'll get another ball up just adjacent to the centre circle. Another ball up, third of the series. Collect the set. We'll go best to four now. About five metres from the centre circles. The umpire's found a free kick. It'll go the way of the Blues. Right on the centre circle. He's got a man open on the wing just at the bottom of the screen there. Alex to go right inside 50. No mucking around there. Rumbalara need to get their running game going. Has a bounce. It's inside 50 for Rumba now. They need to make the most of every inside 50. He'll have a bounce over the top. Unselfish play. The ball's going to come back now through Numerka. No mark. Ball goes to ground. Wheeling around. And it's Chris Egan at centre half back. He must feel right out of place there. Usually a dominating forward or a leading forward. Chris Egan, the former Collingwood player and the number 15 for Rumbalara. He had a ripping game against West Coast when at Collingwood. And I think he let the front row of the West Coast Eagles supporters know about it as well. Ball now out on the scoreboard side of the ground. It's in dispute. And there we are, quarter time here at Rumbalara. It's Numerka, the Blues, out like a shot out of the gun. 6-3-39, leading Rumbalara 2-1-13. We'll be back with more in just a few moments. Welcome back here to Mercury Drive, Shepparton. This is Murray League Footy 2021. We're back after the COVID break and we're back after quarter time. Handy lead for the Blues at the minute. 6-3-39 leads. 2-1-13. Rumbalara's got the chase on. As we restart the second quarter. Rumbalara now kicking to the right of screen. It was a scoring end in the first quarter. Let's hope it stays that way and Rumbalara can put a few goals on the board. Against the Blues here this afternoon on the National Indigenous Broadcaster NITV. We're broadcasting today from Shepparton in central Victoria. The 2021 Murray League footy. Once again, the ball not moving too far from the centre circles. The umpire will restart play. Bit of a scramble out there at the minute. And the umpire said he had prior opportunity. It'll go the way of Numerka now, the free kick. Goes to the forward pocket now for the Blues. They're off to the races if the play on advantage was called. Chance for Numerka now. 25 metres out from goal as the man on the mark. They'll draw first blood in this second quarter. I'm Brad George, a commentator here on NITV today. This is Good Friday football. 
First goal of the second quarter goes away. The Blues, they've got a very handy start. Rumbleara coach Jason Trionides will be moving the magnetic board around. See if he can get something to happen for Rumba. Beautiful day for football here in Shepparton, but I guarantee you that'll all change by mid-season. Let me tell you, we've had some real freezing days up here on the scissor lift, and these are the days you love. Broadcasting the game you love on NITV on a day like today. Back inside's 50. Centre break for Numerka again. They're really racking that one up on the stat sheet. Ball goes to ground. Throw a blanket over about eight of them out there. And the umpire will say ball up, top of 50 for Numerka. Rumbalara need to do something here. Off the ground, it'll go to centre wing, right in front of our broadcast position. Chris Egan fires out the handball. It landed at his feet, but still Rumbalara get it going. Egan was on the run, he ignored the handball. And a good mark, 60 metres out. Rumbalara now. Rumbalara inside 50, hit him on the chest. He couldn't complete the mark. Goes the don't argue on two of them, fires off the handball. Feigns the handball instead. He even fooled the commentator on that one, sold the candy, and it ends up in the back pocket now for Numerka. But it'll be a Rumbalara free kick, forward pocket. Tight in the pocket. Scoreboard side of the ground. Now let's see if he'll do the Joe Danaher and go the J curve. That's what he's going to do. He'll bring it around. Unsuccessfully minus score. Rumbalara now 2-3-15. They're five goals adrift from Numerka, 7 3 45. Numerka playing beautiful football here today on a beautiful day. And the mark's taken there by Kyle Atkinson. Atkinson right underneath our scissor lift at the moment. He'll go inside 50, looking for a pack mark. Nobody can take it. Gets a shimmy, Numerka. That one could be in the back. The umpire hasn't seen it right in front of him. Incorrect disposal. It's a rumble a free kick out of all that. And a chance for a shot on goal at about 45 metres out. Wait to see who ends up with the free kick. He's going to get a fair bit of a wind-up on it. Stephen Stallion. No bow bower in him, but let's see if he can get the distance. Got the distance, but not quite the accuracy, Stallion. And the car alarm's gone off here at Rumble Ara Mercury Drive. Ball now repelled with the Mercury on the opposite side of the ground. Right on centre wing now for the Blues. Early on, Rumble Ara have had their opportunities. 2 3 15, trailing the Blues, 7 3 45. I'm Brad George, your commentator here on NITV, right across the length and breadth of the nation on the National Indigenous Broadcaster. Twenty-seven glorious degrees here, real September sort of weather. 
But as I said at the opening of the quarter, that'll all change as we get towards mid-season. Play on advantage paid. More so to the advantage of Rumbelara now. Out of centre half back. Goes right up the centre corridor now. No mark for Numerka. Rumbelara moving the football a bit better this quarter. Good mark. He should sit and settle. Right in front of the scoreboard here at Mercury Drive. Forty-five degree angle, and they like that one. Rumbelara's third goal. Three-three, twenty-one. Rumbelara finally getting some gas in their wheels. Murray League footy here on NITV. Umpire restarts play after the Rumbelara goal, a much needed goal. Rumbelara 3-3. 21, trailing Numerka 7 3 45. Rumbelara doing all the attacking in the second quarter. This might just be the scoring end. Chips it to the top of the goal square, waiting for the crumbs and snapping it through for a minus score. Nathan Turlick. Was the man seizing the opportunity? Rumbelara with all the work ahead of them. Down by 24 now. Open man inside defensive 50 for Numerka. They'll go far side of the ground. And the marking contest is on there. Umpires paid the Numerka mark. Ball hasn't moved too far. Still on centre wing. Numerka Road side of the complex. Now Rumbalara with the con connectivity through the centre corridor. Right inside 50 now. Great mark taken. He'll chip it across to the running man who's open. Could have ran onto it, but the Numerka player was always there hanging around. He'll be about 40 metres out when he lets go of the Sharon. Now, this is definitely the scoring end of Mercury Drive here today. The umpire called touched. But then that shouldn't have been a mark if they called touch. You might have heard that on our effects microphone. Ball now, just underneath our broadcast area. Lucky to get away with that one. Working at a phone box right on the boundary line. Turlick on the mark for Rumbelara. Good fly, magnificent mark. And it's a great mark for Rumbelara. Corey Wanganeen. The second of two Rum Wanganines here at Rumbelara. Turlick under pressure now. Spins around, gets out of it. Wanganine again now with the footy. Beautiful kick to the top of 50. Inside 50 now. Rumbelara have got some traction under their tyres. 
And now they're doing something with the shot and really putting it on the scoreboard. Needs to settle here and have a shot on goal. 45 degree angle at about uh, 35 metres out. He's going to get a fair run up at it. Atkinson now. This is Jamie Atkinson with the footy. Travel 12 minutes in this second quarter. Murray League footy on NITV. Rumbalara and Yamurka. Minor score left of the stick. They've had their opportunities, Rumbalara, to really get back in this game. And it was odd the way he brought the ball in one-handed and then suddenly put the two hands on it just before he released the footy for a shot on goal. Out of the goal square now. Strong mark there for Nyamurka. Umpires called play on. Mark now for Rumba. They need to make the most of these opportunities. They've squandered a lot this afternoon. Fortuitously now, the ball lands in the hands of the Blues. They're using the centre corridor beautifully. He'll turn around and see the man on the fat side. He was open forever and a day and takes an easy mark. Puts it into the forward pocket now for Nyamurka. Opposite side of the ground and a chance to go inside 50. They haven't had much of it inside their 50 on the left of screen here this afternoon. It seems to be the right of screen is the attacking end where all the goals have been scored. Bit of a drought down this end of the ground. He'll be kicking right on 50. Thinks he's got the journey. Let's go of it. Oh, goes right to the goal line. And over for a minor score. Chance for Rumba to reset now and get the footy back into their attacking zone. Out on centre wing now, city side of the ground. Rumbalara kicking to the city end of the ground. The city of Shepparton, Central Victoria, that is. Umpires call for a free kick. Rumbalara's way. Once again, settle. Have a shot on goal just in front of the scoreboard there. Nearly 15 minutes gone. Now Rumbalara inside 50. The kick come in from 60. And that'd nearly be out of bounds on the full. Left of the goals. Men open everywhere here for Nyamurka. They can really get the run on here if they want. Terrible disposal. Ball goes to ground, gives Rumbalara a chance. That one hugs the boundary line. Handball goes in towards Atkinson. Could have been pushed in the back, but the umpire didn't see it that way. Rumbalara now with the footy. Chip kick footy here for Rumbalara. Peter Hood put it inside 50. Rumbalara really need to cash in the chips on every shot on goal to keep within touch of Newmerka. They've still got a handy lead, Newmerka, 24 points. This goal will be handy to bring it to a neat three behind. That's the goal they needed, uh, Rumbalara. 18 points adrift here at Mercury Drive. You're watching NITV Murray League Football.
Umpire restarts play. Yamurka to the advantage there. The ball's hardly got inside Yamurka's 50. Definitely scoring in right of screen here, the city end of Mercury Drive, the Rumble Ara Sporting Complex. The stadium end, whatever you'd like to call it here today in Shepparton. The Shepparton Basketball Stadium just to the right of screen. Not far away. Turnaround kick in hope for the Blues. No mark taken. Ball goes to ground. The Crummers will need to do their work here. And look out. Here comes Rumbalara again. It's a one-on-one -on -one right on centre wing. Great mark taken. Ryan Lovegrove Hudson was the man. Tried to take off and he was caught. Terrible turnover. Out on centre wing, Numerka Road side of the ground. Centre half forward now, or rather half forward flank for Rumbalara. They're going to put it right underneath the scoreboard. Rumbalara getting there slowly. Gets past his opponent, the man on the mark. Sets it up the top of the uh, goal square. Easy goal for Rumbalara crumbing the pack. And a big celebration there. The man crumbing the pack, Ryan Lovegrove Hudson. Turning around and popping it through for Rumbalara. This is Good Friday football on NITV. We're coming to you live and local from Rumbalara. Oh, he got up for that knock. Gee whiz. Did a cartwheel in midair. Difficulty of 9.5. The judges would have given him a 10 in the gymnastics at the Tokyo Olympics. Yumurka now. They've been very quiet this quarter. Somewhat of an arm wrestle with Rumbalara chipping away, getting back into the game, 5-4-34. Trailing Numerka 7-4-46. Out of their back line now, Rumbalara. They've really got the uh, traction in this second quarter. Red time before half time here at Rumbalara. The umpire calls play on in the forward pocket for Rumbalara. Play on again calls the umpire. The forward pocket hasn't snuck it through. Touched minus score. Eleven points the difference. Rumbalara really etched away at that margin. And we've got somewhat of a spot fire in the forward pocket. Lovegrove Hudson amongst it all. Jumper punches being thrown. And the umpire's called play on from there. Atkinson now will turn around. Two Rumbalara players. They really need to get a wriggle on. We're not far off uh, half-time here. 
Umpire called play on. He didn't know the man was coming in from behind him. Top of the goal square. Chance for Rumbalara now. As he chipped it through. Minus score again. Rumbalara taking the long road home. 5-6-36. Trailing Newmerka 7-4-46. Yamurka coming around our broadcast side, right underneath the scissor lift now. Tapped over the back, he knew his man was there. That was smart footy, he heard the voice beautifully. Now, inside 50 for Rumba. They've done all the attacking in this second quarter, Rumbalara. Atkinson's amongst it. Handballs over his head, hoping someone's there. Punches it forward. Lovegrove Hudson at the bottom of the pack there. Scrimmage and the umpire say will ball it up. 23 minutes gone in this second quarter, approaching half time at Mercury Drive. After a season of no football, we are back for season 2021. Good Friday footy here at Shepparton. Rumbalara Sporting Complex on your Mercury Drive, or rather Mercury Drive. And the ball right in front of the interchange bench for New Mercury boundary throw in. Right in front of our scissor lift here. Tap down to the advantage of Numerka. Forward pocket. He'll try and dribble it in. A la Taylor Adams. That would have been a goal of the year contender, I tell you. Now, Rumbalara straight away outside 50. Now Rumbalara, need to get a wriggle on. We're not far off half time. I've been saying that for a few minutes now. 24 and a half minutes gone in this second quarter. Yamurka just slap it on the boot, put it to the center corridor. I think that was Chris Egan putting it onto the half forward flank for Rumba. Doesn't get gain, gain much ground. Good mark right at full forward. Chance for Rumba through Clay McCartney. Right on the siren. We saw this in a different fashion. Collingwood and the Brisbane Lions last night, Easter Thursday. Footy, this is good Friday footy. McCartney now. A much needed goal for Rumba going into half time. No pressure, Clay. Handy goal going into half time. Amazing stuff. We are at half time here at Mercury Drive. Goal to Rumbalara. We'll be back with more. You're watching NITV Murray League Football. Welcome back to Mercury Drive, Shepherd and Central Victoria for the Murray League 2021. This is round one. We're into the second half of New Merca versus Rumbalara. I'm joined on the scissor lift at long last. Levi Power, the powerhouse, the original powerhouse, has joined us for the second half. Mate, welcome to the scissor lift. Thanks, mate. Looking forward to um, look, uh, second half now. So it's been a big year and a half off without any footy. So it's um, good to be back. Good Friday and uh, looking like a really good second half coming up too. You had three quarters in the reserves, but who have we got to keep an eye out for here in the seniors? Oh, Rumble's been pretty um, bullish about 
their, their side this year. So um, coming into it, they've picked up some really handy recruits, um, some, some old faces that have come back to the club as well. And, um, yeah, a really big one, and he's um, shown already. Uh, Steve, uh, who's come across from uh, Cobram, um, and he's he's been a real powerhouse early. We talk about powerhouse, but he's been um, yeah really solid through the midfield early part of this game. Um, Dill Kerr's another um, one that's going to be very lively in the midfield as well. So um, really good start by the boys here. So there we go, Rumbo drawing first blood in the second half here. Murray League action on the National Indigenous Broadcaster. I'm Brad George, a commentator, joined by the original powerhouse in Levi Power. And we're away. Rumble with that handy goal to get things going. That's what they needed, Levi, to really get the game back on track for the boys. So Numerka kicked away in the first quarter and Rumble doing all the uh, groundwork at the moment. Yeah, being down on the boundary uh, in the box with the coaches with Rumba um, in the first quarter it was getting, it was looking a bit a bit shaky, a little bit um, yeah adjusting to round one footy. And um, once they settled in in the second quarter, um, looked so much more uh, promising going forward and and using the footy and taking a bit of composure. So um, yeah, they they finished off the second quarter with a goal and started one with a, one early in the third. So really good. Ball now out uh, in the centre corridor. Chance for Rumba to put it inside 50 again. That's the second time within the first minute of the second half here. Good footy from Rumba at the minute. Just waiting to see which way this ball will come out of the pack over there. And the umpire will call for a ball up. In the off-season, did you have much of a chance to play other teams? Uh, who did Rumba take on in the pre-season? Uh, so I think... Just with COVID restriction, I think um, teams tried to limit as many uh, games as they could. But I think uh, Rumbo were able to play a, a game against Castle Maine. But no, sorry. Um, sorry, as a Melbourne-based uh, club, um, not too sure of the name. But uh, there was another. So they were able to get two practice matches in. Um, yeah, and I think I think that's just about about right. That's what you need coming into a season, anyways. I think. So. Yeah, just against some quality opposition to give you an idea where players are best suited and how they're going to shape up for the new season. Things a little quiet out on the ground at the minute. It's on centre wing now. Ball now at the top of 50 for Newmerkin. No mark taken. The umpire's given the hands in the back, has he, for Newmerkin? Yep. Inside 50 now for the Blues. Good chest mark. The leading player's taken strong mark just in front of goal there. On a 45-degree angle, about 35 metres out, he'll turn around and have a shot on goal. Glorious conditions here in central Victoria. Shepparton is where we're broadcasting today. Good Friday football. Set sail for home. It's a shocker. And a mark on the last line of defence for Rumbalara. Scoreboard side of the ground. Chance for Rumba to set something up now. They're looking for something further down the line. Nothing doing at the minute. An opportunity presents itself. Rumba slowly moving the footy. On the wing again for Rumba. You can hear the coach's box going off. Sort of don't mind this from Rumba. Like, Rumba's always known for a run and go, just go at all costs sort of sort of team. So really good to see him chip around a little bit, take composure, control the game a bit by, by foot here. Rumba really taking the bull by the horns here. And the market centre half forward, not paid. And the umpire will call for a bounce. Ruck division, how much uh, height have you got this year, Levi? Uh, so the boys were able to get um, Al Boy Norris through down from uh, Fitzroy Stars this year. He's a very similar type to Dion Patton, who we've had um, over the last few years. Um, Dion played in the in the reserves today as well, so he's uh, um, hopefully going to be a good ruck combination if, if Dion can come up to the seniors very soon. The new Merca player there, he had a chance to shield his eyes from the sun and set it up right into the teeth of goal. And first goal for the Blues. Coming some three minutes into the second half. And a handy goal for the Blues. Just a steadier at the moment. As the breeze has picked up and gone probably to the right of screen for about two or three goals.
Umpire to restart play. Centre of Mercury drive. Chance for Rumba now to move the football inside there, 50. They haven't got the centre clearance just yet. Centre wing position. And the umpire's call holding the ball. And a chance for Newmerka now. Man clear just underneath our scissor lift here. He's easily tackled and dropped the ball, but the umpire calls play on. Swings it around the wing now. No mark taken. Wangadine with the football while on all fours. And Rumba somehow get the footy out of there. On the half-back flank now. Going into the centre corridor. Ball's punched to the advantage of Newmerka. Now they've got a man open. He can turn around and put his eyes down. And the umpire said, hang on a tick, we're going to give you a free kick. Rumble are a free kick. Doing well across the back line, Levi. Yeah, looking like, I think, potentially our boy blazed away a little bit when he could have went the short option to Egan. But um, nonetheless, I think they, yeah, in defence, as you said, really strong, were able to win it back. Levi Power joining us on the scissor lift after three quarters in the reserves. What do you look like coming back for the seniors? Uh, you're still a couple of weeks away, or is that imminent uh, next week? No, to be honest, I wasn't really planning on playing uh, footy this year. The, the old knees are starting to catch up with me, so um, with other um, coaching commitments, it was always going to be a bit tough this year, but um, fortunate enough that Good Friday footy um, and the Murray Bush Rangers coaching commitment that I have um, fell on different days, so I was able to have a run around with the, with the, with the earlier game today. Too hard to say no, isn't it? Once you smell the deep heat, it's away we go. That's it. And after a year and a half off, you know, you get back in around the footy club environment and you, you really realise how much you missed it. So it's good to be back, uh, back around the footy club as well. Ball now at half forward for Rumbalara. They're kicking to the left of screen. Now in the centre corridor. Numerka now moving the football. And a good mark taken across half back for Rumbalara. Sorry, Numerka have got the football. My error. And a chance for the shot on goal for Numerka. Let's see how they go. With the breeze, you probably have to hang it out left a little bit. Drops it onto the boots. All clear. He did everything right there for Numerka. Another goal for the Blues. You're watching Murray League Football 2021 here on NITV. Really, yeah, fantastic uh, ball use uh, by Numerica. Yeah, Rumba, it's it's probably one of their weaknesses in that transition back to defence sometimes. So um, Numerica just did what they had to do and just hit their hit their targets. And uh, yeah, it's nearly impossible for a defensive group if um, if the players up the ground aren't going to lock down and, and help the guys down in defence. So um, Numerica doing what they need to do at the moment. Handy goal for the Blues. Stretches that lead out a little. Rumbalara, 7 7 49. 8 5 53, Numerka. So we've got a close one here, round one in the Murray League. You're watching it on the National Indigenous Broadcaster, NITV, on what is a glorious, it's not a good Friday, it is a brilliant Friday. And we're loving the footy back. The community's back. The players are back. Everyone's hungry for a piece of the Sharon. Gives the don't argue beautifully. Turns around. Puts it into the centre corridor. And a great chest mark for Rumbalara. Goes to ground. He'll fire off the handball as he's getting up to Wanganine. Wanganine will now set it up into the centre half forward spot. Chance inside. 50 now for Rumba. Goes to the top of the goal square. And a good mark taken. The car horns will tell you it's a Rumbalara mark. And he'll set for goal about 20 metres out, if that, on no angle whatsoever. Who have we got out there having the shot there, Levi? Uh, I think from here, it looks like Ryan Hudson, who's a yeah, uh, 2014 Premiership player, coming back to the club after a few years away. So 
he's in great nick at the moment. I think he's kicked a couple already, and um, he's looking really good. But um, to also to add before that, yeah, Peter Hood um, up the ground, just finding some space on that outer side. He's one player you don't want to give too much room or space out in the footy field. He's um, been appointed as captain, skipper for the day, and you know, he's a great leader, but he's a you know, really great um, user of the footy as well. So I um, think you might need to tighten down on him, if, especially around the half forward in some of those inside 50s because, yeah, you see how well he uses it. We've got a Newmerka player coming off really sore at the moment. Can't see who it is at this point. As the umpire goes to let Rip and get the game restarted. He's in all sorts on the boundary line. Maybe just the wind out of his sails, I think, from when he landed that marking contest. Rumbalara moving the ball beautifully through Turlick. Turlick puts it on centre wing now. They'll look further down the line to see what's open. He'll put his eyes down. And... Far side of the ground. And a good mark for Rumbalara inside 50. Jamie Atkinson um, take leading really hard at the footy there. Great, great forward um, leading. Uh, missed a couple of easy opportunities early in this game, but um, I think he's he's doing what he needs to do in terms of working up at the footy, presenting as an option. Uh, it'd be great to see him reward himself with um, with his efforts so far. Let's see how he goes. He's in the pocket. Fair way out. Let's see if he's got the journey. It's gone to the forward pocket now, punched right to the teeth of goal. It's so hard to see from here, the scramble in the dust at that end. It'll be rushed over for a minor score. Some might say we've got somewhat of a ball game going on here. Yamurka, they're going to give up a little bit of uh, ground as the two Rumbalara players come steaming onto the ground. Chance now. Nothing to Merca. Rumbalara made the most of the footy. Nearly made a meal out of it. On the last line of defence, turnover. That'll be costly for Rumbalara. Goal, Nymerka. I think really fortunate for um, Nymerka there. I thought Rumba really defended well um, and, and was nearly about to comment that the, the forward line pressure from Nymerka was probably not good enough and that the kick just scrapped uh, into the hands of a Nymerka player. So probably... Probably a lucky one, but you take them in a, in a close match like this. So, um, yeah, bit, bit to work on there with Rumbo Hat getting down. Murray League footy, 2021. Round one, New Merca v Rumbalara here at Mercury Drive, Shepparton. Glorious day for footy, 27 degrees. You couldn't ask for any better a game today. Grounds in tip-top nick, and as I mentioned early, the COVID break would have done all grounds across Australia. A lick of good just to have a breather and no sport played on them. So when we get that heavy rain in the middle of the footy season, that might change things at a few grounds. But playing surface here in Tip Top Nick and an opportunity for Rumbalara now. Yeah, really, really great clearance work. Steve Stane again. Yeah, that's the value of bringing someone in like Steve, who, you know, it was an area for an improvement uh, in 2019 where our forward entries just weren't. Um, and, yeah, you can see with that in guys like Steve Stay and Peter Hood, um, guys like that. So you can already see that the difference it's making in terms of shots on goals. Let's see how we go. Minus score. 
Numurka a chance to reset. Ball now comes around the pavilion side of the ground. No mark taken, it goes to ground, spins a 360. Numurka somehow get the football out on the centre wing now. Using the centre corridor, great mark taken, should turn around and put the eyes down and see that he's got a man open on top of the goal square. I think they just let him go there. Coast to coast uh, by Numerica. And as I said earlier, it's that transition work that Rumba really needs to just tighten down on. You know, if, if I'm brutally honest, yeah, it's probably not, it's probably not to the level. Um, just coming out from, from defence, from Rumba's forward half that easily um, and, and you know, resulting in a shot on goal here. The forward was open and he's made the most of that opportunity. Another goal for Numerica here on NITV Football, broadcast across the nation on the National Indigenous Broadcaster. Umpire to restart play now. Rumba have got the uh, task ahead of them here in the third quarter. Through the centre corridor now. Rumba inside 50. They've got the centre break. Handy stat, but they haven't been turning it into goals. And it seems the left of screen has been the non-scoring end. It seems the right of screen is where all the scoring's been happening this afternoon. Rumba need a couple of goals just to stay in touch. Stay relevant in this game. Keep the fizz in it. Goal here would be very handy out of the forward pocket. Balls it on the carpet. And the umpire will call for another ball up. Forward pocket for Rumbalara. It's so good to have the footy back. A lot of people here today have mentioned that as we made our way around the ground here this afternoon. A lot of happy faces. Man open on the centre wing. And Levi, this is this coast to coast you just spoke of. Yeah, it's, uh, I think they really, need to, they really need to tighten down on it. Um, yeah, as I said, run and gun forward style footy for Rumba. Um, yeah, Jakey Papoulos reading it really well and getting front position there. But it's really an area that, you know, I think if Rumble wants to take that next next step up and play finals footy, that really need to work on it. Um, you know, we see all the talent that they have out there and, and the ball use going forward. Um, yeah, it'd be great to see um, some improvement. I think I think the game can be potentially won and lost on, on that aspect of the game here. Well, Rumba almost turning a goal over there, but somehow managed to keep the scoreboard... Static for the time being, it's gone scoreboard side of the ground. And you touch on the, the transition work, and you know, Numerica has a lot of a lot of youth in the side as well, which is yeah, you know, they're gonna get on the outside a bit. Um, so that they really need to counteract that, um, use a bit of physicality, try and keep them pegged in, um, and then win the footy and, and use it going back back our way. So um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see if if Rumba really do start to tighten down on it. As you can see, intensity around the foot is never an issue. Um, it's just when the ball's out in a bit of space. So hopefully they can take their opportunity here with Ash Miller. Now Rumba, they're looking to move the football inside 50 again. It'll be a foot race to see who gets the football now. <laughs> Unfortunate bounce for Rumba. He's picked it up right at the top of the goals. And the umpire will ball it up. Numerka appealing for the uh, holding the ball. They thought he had prior opportunity. And the umpire will ball it up about uh, 25 metres out from goal. Rumba need a crummer here. Someone who can screw the ball around, but no, Numerka have got it. And they'll put it out on their half-back flank. Mark taken for Rumba. He's looking to set something up at the top of the goal square. And once again, that last line of defence for New Merca really turning it on. The ball stayed static there for Rumbalara. An opportunity for goal. 
They needed that one, Levi Power. Absolutely. Fantastic goal. Just the forward pressure from Peter Hood there to just really make that strong spoil. Um, and then took his opportunity when he got footy in hand, continued his work and finished off with a ripper. Can really see, um, you can really see the, the physicality uh, from Stallion, uh, Peter Hood on that occasion, Ash Miller, you know, really driving, setting the standard there for the rest of the group. So those boys need to stick at it. It's going to be you know, really tough if it's just left up to too few. So um, really need some boys jumping on the back of some of their real good physicality. Handy goal for Rumbalara there. That keeps him within scratching distance. Let's put it that way. Umpire to restart the game back in the middle of the ground. Centre break now goes with Rumbalara. Inside 50 again, forward pocket now. Can they turn it into something else? They need another goal. That'd be very handy going into three quarter time. Travel 21 and a half minutes in this third quarter on what is a magnificent Friday. Forget Good Friday, you can scratch that one out. It's a Bonza Friday for weather. Great day to bring the fun and enjoy some local footy, Murray League footy. Now on centre wing. Chance now for Rumba to get hold of the footy. Ball bobbles out to the favour of Rumbalara. Goes to centre half forward or now centre half back now. Numerica got the footy. And they'll put it on centre wing just in front of the change rooms there. They'll bring it into the centre corridor. And it's all a Rumba jumper there. Magnificent, Mark. He was open for all days, Levi. Yeah, probably just a bit. Um bit blazing away there from the Merca player. Come, you, you really do want to come through and attack through the centre, but really if it's on 100%, Egan just found himself in a nice position and, yeah, he's one ball user you don't want want to have it in with, with no space around him. He's going to hit a target. In. Chance now for Rumba. They need this score. Going into three-quarter time. We don't hear the car horns tooting, so obviously a minus score. Chance now for Numerka to take a breath and reset play. Umpire calls play on. Half back flank now for Numerka. He'll turn around and see what's further down the line. The Blues had full control about halfway through the second quarter. They got out a little bit here in the third. And that's, that's Rumba really, coming back at them. Uh, that's really the sort of footy, you know, coming out of Rumba's forward half. You know, made Numerka really slow it down, find their options and force a long kick, um, which is a great result for Rumba. Um, they really need to keep doing that sort of stuff to, to have a chance here, I think. Good tap. Goes to the Rumba player running past, but he got tangled up with the Numerka player. Chance now for Rumba to go inside 50 forward pocket now. Right in front of the pavilion. No mark taken. And Numerka get a kick out. Out of defence, but it lands in the hands of the Rumba player. Now centres it. He was open for a day and a week. And he'll fire it off to the running player who was running past. Shocking kick. Top of the goal square. And Yamurka will do something with it and get it out of defence again. Resolute. Right in front of the pavilion now. Rumba with the footy again. Rumba have had all the footy, Levi, but they're just not spending it efficiently. Yeah, I think even on that last play then, inside 50 that they turned over, you know, days like today... Uh, it's warm. The blokes are going to you know, really start cramping up from this stage on. I'd take the 30 seconds. Every chance you can take to have your shot on goal to take your 30 seconds um, gives, you, gives your side a chance to set up um, and get ready, ready for the next play. So uh, I think just a little bit smarter going forward. 
Big kick, top of 50. No mark taken. It lands in the hands of the Numerka player again. Little chip kick to the centre circle. Doesn't uh, really gain any advantage for Numerka. The ball coming back now with Rumbalara. Rumble will put it back inside 50 again. They've been peppering the goals. Slaps it onto the boot and it's just gone too far across. And Yamurka will repel the attack. Cam Wise, I think, potentially had a bit more time there than he, than he thought. Yeah. Um, probably could have straightened up and ran into an open goal. Twenty-five and a bit minutes gone. Third quarter, sirens imminent. Yamurka are using the centre corridor now. Right up the middle. Nothing doing for the Blues just yet. They've got a man free in the pocket. He'll swing it around scoreboard side. And it'll be a boundary throw in left of the goal. Very, very lucky Rumbalara there. Um, Numerica had players out everywhere. Just couldn't hit the target that they needed. Um, Rumble lucky that went over the over the boundary line for a throw in. and, and Which brings us to the three-quarter time break. Three-quarter time break. You're watching it here on NITV. Murray League Football 2021. We'll be back with more in just a few moments. We're back here at Rumbalara, Central Victoria. Shepparton is where we're at today for Good Friday football. This is Murray League 2021 on the National Indigenous Broadcaster NITV. It's Rumbalara and Yumurka. Locked away at 65s apiece. You've got to love it when you get good Friday weather like this. It's brilliant Friday weather. And an exciting game of football just like this one. One quarter to go. It's all on the line. Round one football, the Murray League. Brad George, your commentator, joined by Levi Power, the original powerhouse from Rumbalara. We've got a game on our hands, mate. Yeah, just been thinking over the break, you know, the dynamic between Rumba, a bit, a, bit, a bit more experience. A lot of guys played a bit of footy together. Numerica with a lot of youth, um, with a mix of um, experience as well. Um, but Numerica, you know, knowing who they're coached by in Shawnee Harrop, he's got some great experience um, and coached at GBL level. So it be interesting how, the, how this last quarter plays out. Let's see how we go. It's on centre wing at the minute. Rumba Lara kicking to the right of screen. This is the scoring in for most of the game. We've seen a lot of the goals kicked at the right of screen end. Chance now for Rumba to do something with it. Bit of a scramble there right on 50. The umpire will call for a ball up. The breeze is probably blowing one or two goals across the ground, more so to the right of screen at the minute. I don't think it's too much of an advantage in the breeze, but it'll help. And Rumba will take every little inch of it at the moment. Top of the goal square for Rumba now. Throw a blanket over about eight of them and the umpire's going to give away a free kick here. And just some really good forward pressure, you know, just to see the intent that Jamie Axe had today. Um, he's, been, he's very experienced. He's got himself in great shape this year. And hopefully, as I said earlier, uh, hopefully he can reward himself uh, for, for his hard work today here with the goal and, and a really crucial goal as well. And, you know, that stuff doesn't take talent. It's just the willingness to get in and tackle and pressure and, and win yourself a, a shot on goal. He's got a fair sort of a run-up, Atkinson. Let's go from about 45 metres out. The crowd like it, the car horn sound. It's another goal for Rumble. Are a good start to the last quarter here. They're up by a goal. Handy goal, Levi Power. Yeah, a bit of an arm wrestle early. Hasn't been too open for the first couple of minutes, but um, that's where you see, you know, when game's starting to tie it up like this, it, it becomes a bit more congested. Um, and you take your opportunities when you, when you get them like that. So um, good finish by Jamie. As in the game of basketball, do you practice these uh, tight situations at training where you might just say, look, you've got 30 seconds, let's see what we can do with the footy? Yeah, potentially you can incorporate some of that in some ball movement and just what sort of mentality you want to have. You know, you can't always be attacking, attacking, attacking. So, you know, different situations, you know, makes you think about um, how you want to use the footy going forward. 
Yumurka need to strike back, and they're inside 50 at the minute. Good sling tackle there from Rumbalara. Ball's on the opposite side of our broadcast area here. Forward pocket for Numurka. So a chance now, the ball up. Numurka getting closer to goal here. And as the umpire called for a ball in over on the other side of the ground. And a restart the play. Boundary throw in now. Knocked away to the advantage of Rumbalara now. Yamurka will swoop onto the footy in the forward pocket. And we got ourselves another boundary throw in. Rumbalara up by the solitary goal at the moment. We've got the ball game here, Levi. All square, 71 apiece, uh, three minutes into the last. A um, bit of an arm wrestle early. It's really tightened up a bit. Not as much free-flowing open play as, as we've seen in the first three quarters. So, um, yeah, I think the team with the run in the legs, who's going to handle these conditions, I think, uh, yeah, I think will come out on top. So, um, yeah. Good to see you on Good Friday, the Good Friday football. And a brilliant day for footy indeed. 27 degrees still at the moment. Centre wing now, coming around Rumbalara's way. Now right into the centre circles, he'll have a bounce. He'll put his eyes there, shrugs the tackle beautifully, second bounce. Shrugs the second, and again he's into an open goal. Goal of the year contender in round one, absolutely sensational. Magnificent football from Rumbalara. Ash Miller, take a bow. That was, you know, this late stage of this game, as, you know, the, the hot day, he would have been feeling heavy in the legs. I actually give credit to the young guy chasing him. I thought he had a rip effort and put enough pressure on him for that second defender to come in and put pressure on. But just Ash, he's just super strong around, around the hips and just runs through. Um, yeah, super goal by Ash Miller. Dished out the don't argue twice. Shrugged the player and then popped it through from 35 metres out. Great goal, Ash Miller here. He's a bit spent, Ash, but, you know, gives him a goal up, goal break. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to lift the boys as well. Give them a bit of energy. You could hear the, the crowd get up and about, so. Run out some Powerade or Gatorade out to him. The ball's going to come back out inside 50 now. Atkinson couldn't get his hands on the football cleanly. He'll apply the tackle here, but no, the Numerka player spins around and gets a good handball out on the set of wing now. Atkinson still doing the chasing. It's those one percenters that really count in a game like this one. Good mark to Numerka now. On the half forward flank. Numerka looking for the reply. Rumber up by the straight goal and a chance now for Numerka to set sail for goal. And we've got the brilliant Friday football. I won't say good Friday because it's so much better. So we've got big Nath Hicks here. He can kick a goal. Um, I think he's about 50, 52 out. I reckon he's probably got the distance, uh, but a little bit of a breeze. I might drop short on the line potentially. So it'll be good to see. Hopefully Rumba has someone on the line. A little off to the right in the forward pocket. And a good defensive mark there for Rumbler, is it? Or forward mark for Numurka. So as I was touching on, you know, someone's having a shot 50, 52 metres out. You really need to get some strength on that goal line. Um, really defend it all the way there. Um, always going to probably drop short in that situation late in this game as well. All clear. We've got ourselves a ball game, Levi. This one is on for young and old. We invite you along here on the Murray League Football and the National Indigenous Broadcaster, NITV. So what are we locked up at? 70s, 77s apiece.
Umpire to restart play here in the Murray League. Round one clash, Numerka and Rumbalara. We have got the ball game. Do not turn away. Don't go and make a coffee. Do not leave your chair. This one is the barn burner. Rumbalara going to look to set something out just in front of our broadcast position. Out of the centre corridor now. 60 metres out for goal for Rumba. Good pick up. Shrugs the tackle. They've done it again, Rumba. Shuck, shuck. And he's got it. He shrugged the tackle, ran into an open goal. Rumbalara showing some real muscle. Really pleased to see Rumba start backing themselves. Take some opportunities. Uh, reward for effort. They're just making it up a bit as they go. Probably, yeah, just backed himself. Yeah, really wanted that result and, and, and got good reward for effort there. Kyle Atkinson was our man popping it through there. And Rumbalara now up by the goal. Levi Power called it a little earlier. This is somewhat of an arm wrestle. And it's a matter of who will have the petrol tank. It's who will have the gas in the tank to get home in this round one clash. They're both going punch after punch. They can't land the knockout blow, neither team. They're battle weary, but they're still going on. Rumbalara now on the half forward flank. Rumba throwing themselves on the football. Right in the centre corridor now. Rumba need to pick it up off the carpet. Can't do so. Numerka have got it. He tried to have a bounce and then ran into all sorts of trouble. Still maintains the football low and he'll bring it around Pavilion's side of the ground. Inside 50 now for Numerka. Can they get the reply here? That is the question. Moving the football beautifully. He'll run into an open goal and kicks the leveller. Levi Powell, we have got a game on our hands. Super exciting footy. Uh, how good is this? Yeah, good Friday. Yeah, plenty of goals. Uh, tight game. Yeah, and you've seen some ripper goals today. Some great ball use uh, for round one after a year and a half footy of no footy. Uh, to see the quality at the moment has been sensational. Absolutely first class. And I hope you're enjoying it on the National Indigenous Broadcast to NITV this afternoon. Murray League football. And it's an absolute clinker. Scores locked away, 81 apiece. And it is on for young, old, elderly, disabled. Don't you worry about it. It is all situations go here. Don't leave your TV set because we got a barn burner. Ball now in the centre corridor. More so favouring your Merca. I'm not going to let you go and get a cup of tea or even dare change the channel. NITV is where it's at. Local footy like this on Good Friday. I'm changing the term of Good Friday to Brilliant Friday when you've got great weather, great football like this. Why would you want to be anywhere else? We hope you're enjoying today's coverage. Tap to no one's real advantage, and the umpire will whistle it again and call for another ball up. And really important, so, you know, you're seeing a lot more stoppages now. There's some tired bodies starting to get uh, held in a little bit more. This is where you, you real, really get banged for your buck with your midfielders. You know, who's going to win them clearances? Just as Rexy and, and Rumba's got a bit of space now to go. Here we go, running with the footy inside 50 now for Rumbalara to the scoring end of the ground. But in this last quarter, both ends have been scoring well. Chance now for Rumba to set something up. And when you look at it, the ball goes over the back. And a behind like that in the wash, Levi, can come out to be very handy, as we saw with the Brisbane Lions last night. Yeah, the one point is that the behinds like that could, could it could be handy, but yeah, still need to kick plenty of goals. I think maybe yeah, a bit bit more top of the square would have been the option there. Um, cases like that, it can trickle over the line where I think they would have much rather a top of the square and keep ball in play a bit longer. It's on the Rumbalara's half forward flank and the ball out of bounds on the full. We'll see a restart to play with a kick in for Numerka. Got to wait for the footy to come back. 
A bloke sitting in one of the cars is going to toss it back in for us. Levi, it's not quite time to start trying to ice the game. We have to attack and attack and attack again from both sides, Yamurka and Rumbelara. Yeah, it's interesting. It's you know, with, as I've said, conditions-wise, I'm surprised I've, there's still a little bit of run in the tank by both sides by the looks of it. I'm surprised I haven't seen too many blokes cramping up. Um, yeah, that may be a bit of a tired kick. That looked looked out of bounds on the full. Um, but yeah, potentially a bit of fatigue creeping in. Um, Rumbalara with the kick now, out of bounds on the full. And as Levi said, a little bit leg weary. He's going to make the most of that interchange gate cone. Not 15, should be play on. He'll tap it to his own advantage, gets out of trouble somewhat. Chance now with a handball running player, Chris Egan. Was it Egan? I think it was. Top of the goal square for Rumbalara now. Now it's just up back at the half-back flank now. Chance now and Rumbalara can need to pick it up off the carpet. Fortuitously, it lands in the hands of the Numerka player. Punch to the advantage of Rumbalara now. There's a bit of to and fro in this. And the umpire's called play on advantage, has he? No. Kick over the mark. That breeze really picking up, and Numerka are kicking into it, you'd say. Numerka now with a good mark. Out there on the pavilion side. No mark at the top of the goal. You see, you know, the footy down in Rumbers Ford after there, both sides. Uh, I think I can't put it down to much more than, than fatigue, essentially. Uh, three or four drop marks by both sides, a few missed targets, just blazing away at stages. Both sides are really digging in deep here, and it's going to be um, really interesting to see who's going to um, slog it out all the way to the end. We've got ourselves a real ball game here at the moment. It's a real barn burner. Rumbelara with their noses in front, just. Who's got the petrol tickets? Who's got the gas in the tank? That's what it comes down to. Pavilion side of the ground. Egan's leading for it on centre wing. And that's right in front of the Numerka committee there. You heard the call of ball. Just really need to take the long option there when you have the chance. I, I didn't mind. I didn't mind the play. Oh, he's paid that a mark. Not sure if he had quite enough of it there, but um, is what it is. But yeah, the, the long kick down the line, Dylan Kerr. I think it was on the boundary. Just really want to take those easy options when it tightens up. Yeah, try not to do too much. Just get it down the line and, and reset again. Hopefully, you know, um, get a stoppage down the ground rather than a, a shot on goal here. Let's see how Numerka go. Much needed goal. The umpire set the player now. He'll be about 35 metres out when he lets go. The Numerka crowd a little quiet on that one, so obviously a minor score. They're doing it the hard way, Numerka. Chance for Rumba to restart the play. Bit of a bit of a slow play here. A uh, bit of a slow bringing bringing in from um, the behind. Looks like Rumba are going to try and go a bit defensive here. Long, long and wide. We're locked away at 84 a piece. The pack flies in front of the Rumbleara change rooms. We need to get a score on the board here, Rumbalara, and they're doing it well. Has a bounce on centre wing. Puts the eyes down, sets sail for inside 50. The leading Rumbalara players coming out for it. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. The umpire's found a free kick. It'll go the way of Numerka. 
shallow entries like that into the 50. Um, and now Yamoka get an opportunity, can come back just as quick to go down the other end. So what about, I would like to see Rexy take a few more, potentially get it in deeper into that 50. And then you see uh, Yamoka on the outside, um, going to get an inside 50 here. So. Midway through the last quarter. And here comes Numerka, shot on goal. I think Nathan Hicks there uh, just shows his ex experience and, and strength there on a Blade Larkins, who's been in and out of the Rumba senior side over the last couple of years, but just really see the experience there from big key forward who's going to kick a lot of goals this year in, in the Murray League comp. So it um, be interesting. Uh, I think, yeah, very close. I think he'll nail, nail this one. Let's see how he goes. He's on somewhat of an angle. And he's put it through. Numerka like it. Handy lead of a goal to Numerka. Rumba now have to get some traction. Two scoring shots is what Rumba's going to need to win the game now. So not, not sure what's happened there because Jakey Papoulis has been playing on Hicksy most of the day uh, down deep in defence. But we've seen Jakey Papoulis um, in the forward line for that forward entry where Rexy Taylor kicked it in. So not sure if there was a shuffle there, a bit of a mix-up, but uh, Jakey Papoulis back down on, on Hicksy now, uh, which is, I think is a really good match-up. Let's see how we go with the restart here. Rumba really need to get the wheels turning again. And it's Numerka up by a goal. And we're midway through the last quarter. Still plenty of time for Rumba to get something happening here. Goal here would be handy if they can get it inside 50. They pick up the football now. Right to the top of the goal square. Couldn't take it cleanly. And the umpire will call for a boundary throw in. I think Rumble will take that. Um, yeah, it wasn't too much on inside that 50 to get a get a result, a boundary throw in here to, to set up, um, get some players in there and hopefully um, get a scoring opportunity out of this. Well, that's what they sort of needed was the boundary throw in, then to sort of move it from there. Now Newmerker are going to get it out of there. And now Rumba take a handy mark. Right on centre wing, they're going to bring the ball back. Corey Wanganee, another inclusion, who's been away for a couple of years. Good to see him back in the side. He's been, you know, pretty solid today. Chance now for Rumbalara underneath the scoreboard to set something up. They need to sharpen things here and get it to the top of the goal square. Remain calm all the way. Waiting on the boundary throw in now. We've gone 21 minutes here in this last quarter. So going on the last few quarters, you'd say about four minutes to go, Levi? Yeah, I think so. I think you're about right. Um, yeah, been a few goals scored, so uh, might drag out a little bit more this quarter, but uh, yeah. So we're definitely in red time, you'd say that. And it's Numerka up by a goal. Here we go. Chance for Rumbalara now. Strong, resolute mark on the back line for Numerka. They've done everything right in that regard here this afternoon. He just knew to knock it on. He heard the voice further downfield. And he's going to chase his own footy down. Larry Longsleeves needs a bounce. Oh, he's coughed it up. Made a meal out of it. But still, he's got the footy back. And now he's going to dribble it over the boundary line. Was that nerves or running out of petrol tickets, Levi? Oh, it's all happening. It's all happening on this side of the wing. Um, but you see such a strong mark by Gallus down in defence by Numerica. He's been around a long time. I was thinking it potentially could have been a, a match-winning um, mark. Um, Numerka probably unlucky they didn't use the footy well coming up the wing. So um, it's all happening. It's a bit, bit of a circus <laughs> that last play. Boundary throw in again.
The second one's a bit better. Rumbelara need a goal. They need a goal in a hurry. Just to even stay in the hunt. Ball's in the centre corridor now. Will it bounce fortuitously for Rumbelara? It does. He needs to wheel around and find something. That wouldn't have been 15, I would have thought. Rumba now with the footy. Can they run it inside 50? Man's open there. That's Turlick. He's got the footy. He'll have a bounce. Open in the forward line. Mr. Reliable Clay McCartney can't get his hands on the footy. Numerka doing everything, just wasting those couple of valuable seconds. Wanganeen now fires the handball in. I think good to see Rumba starting to get a bit composed with the footy now, looking for some shorter options, but potentially miss an opportunity. Again, Gallus with the with the intercept mark. Yeah, he could he could nearly be a match winner here with a couple of intercept marks. Uh, Naif Turlick earlier probably had Joshy Wang. Uh, yeah, really, Josh Wanganeen that is. Um, yeah, streaming into goal on his own and went went the wide option of McCartney. But you know, seeing your Merker out here now and they look like they're just about home here if they can take this grab. They're all running out of petrol tickets. Chris Egan's coming back onto the ground for Rumbalara. And we're running out of time. The sand in the hourglass, almost done. I think it looks like uh, Rumba's brought off a couple of their more prolific ball winners at the moment. So they may think there still might be a couple of, you know, a fair bit of time in the game to go. Um, like to see Ash Miller out there at this stage of the game, uh, particularly when with these congested um, parts of the, uh, the contest at the moment. Rumble R still need those two scoring shots. If they're to get the win, at the moment, it's Numerka up by the straight goal. 90 leads 84. You're watching it here on the National Indigenous Broadcaster, NITV. Great game of footy for Good Friday. Oh, there was a chance goes begging for Numerka to really ice the win. The last knockout blow. Who will land it? Rumbalara. Now, oh, he's run down. That'll be a free kick. Teammates not telling him he was hot, Levi. I think just a bit indecisive um, yeah, thought process there. I think you, know, you had uh, Peter Hood, who's a great ball user. I'd, I'd probably just give it to him. Um, tried to take a bit more space, which I understand, and then potentially feed it out to him. Uh, yeah. Chance now for Numerka. He got it outside defensive 50 now. There can't be too much left on the clock. Rumbelara need to attack and attack everything. Take a few chances. He got up in time. Got the handball away. Top of 50, nobody there. Two on one. And there's a siren. Yumurka won it by a goal. They just ran out of time, Rumbelara. And we hope you've enjoyed it here on NITV. What a cracking game for Good Friday. That is... What Good Friday footy is all about. Sunshine, the community's back, and Yamurka with the win in round one. Levi Power, thanks for joining us on the Scissor Lift this afternoon. Great to be back, Brad, and what a, what a way to start the year off. Awesome stuff. We hope you've enjoyed the broadcast today here on NITV, the National Indigenous Broadcaster, with Yamurka getting home by the solitary goal. <laughs>